Do you like conversation on a variety of topics? Feel like no one wants to talk about the things that interest you? Tired of only hearing the same political, sports, or catastrophe talk? Yeah, we feel that way too. Join two high-functioning geeks as they discuss just about anything under the sun. We can't tell you what we'll be talking about each week because we don't know where our brains will take us. It will be an interesting conversation, though, so hang on and join us. Here comes the Relentless Geekery. Brought to you by Mind Architecture. Building worlds for your mind. I'm okay. <laughs> Much better. All right. Yay. So, Alan, it's been like two weeks. We skipped last week. There's been a lot going on. You... Exactly. We, we were both schedule constrained and busy boys and stuff like that. Yeah. Sorry about that. And, of course, as usual, the accumulation of what, how are we going to get through all this? It's, <laughs> Just talk like those used car salesman guys. <laughs> exactly. So, let's see. What Last week, I went to see Extreme yes, and please. Living Color. Tell and, me that. Uh, that sounds wonderful. It was, I really like both of those bands. They're from like 80s going into 90s. And, but they were still, it's for both of them, all the members of the original band, or at least so far as I could tell, and most important, it was the lead guitarist, who are both amazing, Vernon Reed and Nuno Betancourt, and the lead vocalists, which is, let's see, to stay corresponding, let's see, Corey Glover and Gary Sharon. So having said that, they just, they played all the songs I wanted to hear. They had enough new material that it was, and it isn't the, Oh God, new material! Please go back to what I already love. No, it really, they were. It was good, vital stuff. It was. They're still making good music. So much. A lot of what they had to say back then is still true today. A lot of how hard they rock still matters, even if they're in their fifties. I nowadays I always wear earplugs because I worry about my old ears getting tinnitus and stuff like that. But just they. And, and it was just me. Colleen doesn't tend to like the strangle the guitar kind of guitar play, <laughs> strangle the neck of the guitar. But that, that just gave me, I made a point of getting a seat. I didn't keep my assigned seat. I went even further back so I'd have some room around me so that I could play my air guitar and my e chord, just bop around because there's a lot of the Al the Human Eclipse. I'm in people's way anyway. Why not get out of their way and give myself a little bit of dancing in my seat room and stuff? And so just had the greatest time with... Some people really have skill and it stays with them. You know what I mean? They're, like, I have slowed down as much as I know a lot of different tech. I am nowhere near current on everything I could know about how we design apps and databases and websites and how they all come together. And that's the last thing I was doing was convergence like that to make sure I knew all of that work. And yet there's so much a continual advancement and the world got to Boy, we used to have releases were a big thing that you tested the heck out of everything and made sure it was good. And nowadays, things really seem to go out all the time on the fly. They do A-B testing, and not only on the basis of which feature do you like better, but does the feature even work? So They're doing that with movies now, too. The, the <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Verse movie for the theater or the streaming release, they altered. I, there's a lot of talk about all the stuff they altered from the original theater. So um, it's branching into other avenues and video games they get so they're so big and so many people and they're so rushed that they shove them out and they know it's look we've got three months it's gold but we got three months until it's actually live we're gonna make some more fixes you go get like a three gig day one patch. it's just the the nature yeah. of it all it seems and nowadays because everything is digital you really can send out an update instead of having to have well print new films in cans and send them up to the other thousand theaters or whatever like that so it and it's like one of the things i wanted to talk about there's so many things nowadays where they don't even have to make it like perfect or foolproof. They make it so that the user is in control a lot of how they access their data, whether it's updating an appointment or whether it's paying a bill or something like that. And they can't make it that it really screws up or doesn't accept your credit card or you, that you can't make a connection. But all the things you used to put in place for the data entry, for cleanup of things so you couldn't put bad data in, they just make it. If you spell your own name wrong, you're responsible. If you don't know from one side to another that you've been consistent as to whether you were street or ST or all, all the things that we used to do to make sure there was data cleansing, that it really mattered, especially when uh, memory was an important, that is storage, was like a limited thing. Nowadays, when you've got terabytes of data everywhere, it really doesn't matter that you rationalize things down to the most efficient way of saying things, except that 
they when we first had text in it was very much you saw people saving characters everywhere they could so there's a whole subset of language that's based right. on all those abbreviations and all those and like leaving off punctuation and then of course in order to be righteous about it it's not just leaving off punctuation it's now if you use it you're being angry you're being stuffy you're being old-fashioned and what i love how that works in society that was once was necessity becomes preference becomes righteous do you know what i mean so there's a whole discussion i guess to be had there but one of the things i love is what so while we're up in detroit like it used to be i've done trip planning for all the time that colleen and i've been together and you put together the little what are the addresses of all the places you're going to be staying or we're doing a cross-country trip and nowadays you can really just go to detroit and you've got mapping software that'll let you find wherever you're going. And I know this isn't like a revolutionary thought to all the kids that have grown up with smartphones and stuff. And pardon me for saying kids, 